Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, here right in front of us, we have the HP DL360G7. You can see right here. Um, so, I'll walk you through the storage medium and I will also show you inside of the server. So, we have some SAS drives. This isn't a SAS drive right now, but what you do is... If I pull one of these out, you will see that this is a 2 terabyte hard drive and uh, there is 2 terabytes, uh, 4 terabytes in total uh, for virtual machine storage because yes I am running Proxbox on this one so we'll have loads of Hackintosh uh, videos coming soon um, and then we have some 146 gigabyte SAS drives that I use to boot Proxmox. It's in a RAID one, uh, so if one drive fails, uh, we can still boot up Proxmox. I also have a one terabyte drive that I use for a NAS, uh, which is running as a Proxmox container. I uh, tried to run true NAS, but it just wasn't working for me, and I didn't really like the ACL presets and stuff that you have to do. But um, let's look inside of the server so here we are inside of the server we have two Xeon um, X5660's so 6 cores 12 threads each which brings it up to 12 cores 24 threads so here they are we've got a dual socket uh, set up we also have 32 gigabytes of ECC registered memory which is uh, great and we have uh, the fans here uh, that are set up so you can actually take out a fan but I ain't trying that yet so in the middle we have a Mellanox uh, drive controller uh, we have the graphics uh, I don't know who it's by but we have the graphics then we have here a capacitor so if we have a power failure I have yes only got uh, one power supply in here but uh, I have got the other one uh, lying around which is actually right here another 460 watt one but I ain't using two because we don't really care then if you look right at the back here we have the RAID controller which is the P410i from HP uh, so it's pretty standard uh, and we obviously have the two fan array and um, yeah they get quite loud uh, when you first boot you can see we have SATA power here and obviously the SATA that goes all the way back into the RAID controller. So, uh, and also to note, if you look here, there's an SD card slot and a USB port inside. So if I wanted to run true NASA, I could run it like that. So let's put the cover back on and we'll do a boot up. So the cover's back on. Front I.O. Simple, just a VGA, a UID, and we have an SID, which is uh, sorry, we have the UID here, then the SID here. So you'll see some stuff show up in a moment when I turn on the server. Uh, but let's grab a VGA cable and plug it into the monitor. So let's plug that in. I'm not screwing it in because I unplug the monitor when I'm in, when I'm finished with it. So, let me move over the monitor. So, here we go, power button here, let's go. So, it takes quite a while to pause. If you notice, the top drive bays are flashing because I need to do a firmware update on those. Uh, but it's downloading right now, it's not got long left. So, let's wait for it to pause and we'll see it booting Proxmox. So, whilst this is happening, what does this mean for HSVE? It means every virtualization video that I do, so uh, 
Hackintosh videos are virtualized. Um, I can give them more cores, more RAM uh, with the 12 cores that I have and Proxmox really uses threads. You can see the two drives are blinking. Um, so it means that I can make better videos which is great, that's what we want. So yeah let's wait for it to post, it does take quite a while, there we go. Got a blinking light at the top. So that replaces my old uh, Dell Optiplex 7010 that was honestly rubbish. Um, yeah the server gets quite loud I will admit. Like no it's at quiet, it's quite quiet now. But it does get loud. Um, so here we go. So as you can see 32 gigabyte installed. See the two Xeons here. I've got Hyperthreading enabled. Uh, it comes with ILO 3 which I'll go through in a moment. Uh, and the P410i RAID uh, controller. So And it's a uh, 1 gigabyte of cache as well. Um, we're just going to wait. See it says here that the disk drive needs a firmware update. Well that will disappear soon because I'm going to update it later on. So there we go, it gives us a little beat telling that uh, it's going to boot up to Proxmox. So here we go. The camera's not focusing properly but you can see Proxmox V. Sorry about the mess on the left hand side, it's just the network switch slash router that I'm using. You can hear the hard drives working away, beating up the operating system. Them are the two SASH drives, 10,000 RPM. And here we go, and it's booted and ready. You can see it's not that bad, uh, but it does get loud. So let's go on the computer and I'll show you uh, ILO and Proxmox itself. Let's go.